Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to determine the axial position of the pinhole. We have our pinhole here. We also have two beams of light. One of those beams of light is filtered through the pinhole and the other is passing the pinhole. To determine this position, we move our pinhole along the z-axis. As we do that, we may see some concentric rings or circles or even an airy disc. And we want to continue to move the pinhole along the z-axis until we achieve something that looks like this. And this here is where we want the axial position of the pinhole. If we move a little closer, you can see in the left beam information about a star target. And in the right beam, since that beam is filtered through the pinhole, the high and medium frequencies are reduced where we don't see any information about the star target.